Hello everybody, so today we're going to be reviewing the Mini GT Nissan Skyline R32. This is a 164 scale model diecast, and unlike these ones over here, this only comes in this cardboard packaging. And before I take it out, there are a few details that I really liked about the box. Like this GTR emblem on top, and on the back, it is actually licensed by Nissan itself. And my favorite part is this shiny thing. I don't know what it does and what it's for. It's just really shiny, that's why I like it. So now let's take it out of the box. Here it is taken out of the packaging. Now let's take a closer look in each of its parts. Right off the bat you can see here a Nismo intercooler with the right things Nismo on it obviously. and. I really think it's a great touch because it contrasts from the black exterior of the car and the Nismo writing is just perfect. There are no misletterings or misplacement of the letters and it really pops off. Now the headlights in my opinion is a bit too oversized compared to the real car but that's only my opinion. You don't have to agree with it. The hood has a carbon fiber finish and in the middle you can see this little skyline emblem. I think that's really impressive considering how small these are. The rims are a nice gold color with silver sides and they roll fortunately. They roll pretty well actually. I'll do a little test. Now the back personally I think is the best part of this whole die cast because of its insane amount of details. Starting with the iconic two circular headlights on each side. This GTR badge. This Nissan badge. And this very impressive skyline engraving right down the middle as you can see here and right below that is a plate number saying GTR and right below all of these is the exhaust in this nice silver finish the only thing I don't like about it is it doesn't pop out of the car that much maybe that's really its design. Last is the interior. The interior comes in an all black color. That's why we won't see much of it in camera. But it is a right hand drive with bucket seats as well. And right in the back there are orange linings in the windshield. Which adds a realistic feeling to it. Oops, wrong way. Overall, aside from the oversized headlights, Mini GT did a great job with this casting. And a great addition is that considering the quality that it offers, these are actually really cheap. So if you're thinking of picking one of these up, go. Just go. And aside from that, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and peace out, boy!